Hello everyone in YouTube land, welcome back. Now, the other week a friend of mine came up and was looking at my tractors and he commented on my last video where I was mucking around with the air cleaner in my Chinese tractor. Uh, hello Louie, that's the friend I'm talking about. Anyway, he had a look at this tractor and I explained to him the air cleaner and this is an oil bath type. Now, no offence to my friend, he said, well, what do you mean by oil bath? So, I had it in my head to do a video about the oil bath air cleaner of this Massey Ferguson tractor, but him commenting about it sort of accelerated that issue, particularly when I thought, hmm, I don't remember when the last time was that I'd inspected in here. So, excuse me. So, without further ado, let's see what this is all about. So what I'm going to do is take this all off, which you don't have to do, but I want to take it to the bench and explain to you uh, how I understand that it works. So just watch closely and I'll talk as I'm going. So your mushroom pre-cleaner, whatever you want to call it, comes off like that and you must take it off so that you can tilt the bonnet forward. Okay, you can get a better view of it. So, there's a twist clip here. So we undo him. Which allows this bottom cup to come out eventually. Now this is all original, the way I can see it. A little bit more. Oh, it's not as gross as I thought it would be. Let's have a sneaky peek. You can see there's no paper filter here to replace. There's actually wire mesh and oil in there. And speaking of wire mesh, there's a whole lot more in there. Alright, dirty hands already. Stand by. So there's a clamp around the air hose. If you want to call it that, the hose that takes the clean air into the engine. Let's loosen him up a bit. Let's take that clamp off. And I'm trying to remember how it sits in here. I think I've got to undo these two bolts. I sure have to. So you've got two bolts here, uh, 13 mil <coughs> seems to fit, however I'm aware that all of these are imperial, I just can't be bothered finding my imperial sets, but they, this doesn't look too tight anyway so this should do the trick. So, lucky I'm looking at this because these are pretty loose over time. So, it's telling me to tighten them up, so to speak. Alright, you can follow what I'm doing here. There's no need to watch me undo bolts. I think that's been done before in this world. So, we'll just move on quickly and cut a bit of this out. Cut myself a bloody beauty. to worry. Okay we're back at the workbench. I've bought everything over here. I'm sorry there might be a bit of glare across the top from the fluoro light but I'm not a professional movie maker. Um, as long as you can see 
what I've gone and drawn on here. But before we start on that, so that's what you saw on the tractor that I took off. I've cleaned that off with a bit of a rag. It's not perfect, but at least I can handle it here. You remember this? The, uh, the intake, okay? And that's how it goes together. So you can picture that that draws the air in from outside. So this thing can do its stuff. So with this oil bath cleaner, there's no paper filter to throw away. I don't know if such a thing existed back then in 1960 when this tractor was built, but from what I've read, this system is fine. <coughs> and at the bottom of the assembly is what you might call the oil bath. So when you take it apart, actually I'll get back to that in a minute. Let's explain how it works. And then I'll show you on the actual system my favourite pointer, so bear with me. You, you figure where I'm at now? Okay, that square replicates that there. Okay, so the air gets sucked in from outside and in the middle of this it's there's a pipe down the middle on its own. The air comes down here at the bottom of the cup there's oil and a very very small gap or maybe not one at all all the dirt particles are forced to do a U-turn and come up the mesh both sides okay the biggest particles get caught in the oil they can't go anywhere whatever is smaller and managed to get through with some oil, not a lot, with some of the oil, get sucked up through this mesh. Okay, there's mesh either side of this chamber. It doesn't make it through to the end. It gets stuck somewhere or other. We're talking about very fine particles here that you and I can't see. And they'll just, the oil will drain back down. They may come with it or they might be stuck in the mesh. So the theory is that at the top, this is a rounded chamber, the cleanest possible air comes out here and into the engine. I hope that makes sense. Now, as I said at the start of the video, my friend asked me about this oil bath cleaner and an alarm bell went off in my mind as to when the bloody hell did I last check it. Well, I'm a bit of a stickler for record keeping. I, you know, I've got a folder here that tells me lots and lots of things about the tractor, but laugh as you may, I even keep a running log of uh, what I've done. So I'm not going to bore you with the detail, but here it is. Clean oil bath, air filter, thoroughly and new oil. You want to know the date on that? 2014, six years. Talk about panic stations. And by the way, if you're really into it, you can buy a really good book like that. That is the Bible. So, Chris Jaworski, wherever you are, you're a bloody godsend. So, the last time I had a look at it and cleaned it, it was terrible. The tractor had been sitting on my father's property doing nothing for a very, very long time. And I had to really work hard to clean it. Now, what did I say? 2014 till now, six years. I know what work it does. It's not a day in, day out tractor. So, here we go. So this bottom part, the cup as I might call it, have a look here. Alright, there's the first stage of the mess that the particles try and go up through. You can see a bit of sludge there, that's nothing. I'll just clean that with a rag when I get around to it. That shows you how that's done. Now some of you that don't know about all this might be thinking, 
What's he talking about, about oil? Well, here it is here. Well, it actually looks pretty good. It's not black. There's no sticks or anything with it. When I stir it around, there just seems to be a bit of dust and dirt in the bottom. So you just go and tip this out responsibly. Now, I'm not going to show you, but I'm just going to get a rag and wipe it clean so it's good to go. This top heart part of the air cleaner, all right, I've already explained that up here. Air in, down, up, does its thing, cleanest air into the engine. There you go, look, more mesh. So that mesh goes right up to about there, I believe. So there's a fat chance of any sticks or twigs getting through. Okay, I'm back after a short break. I've got rid of the white board because it was creating glare. Hopefully you can see a bit better now. Anyway, I've been and uploaded and edited all the videos I've already taken. And there was one part of it where I couldn't stop laughing at myself. You hear me referring to sticks and twigs. It might pay for me to rehearse things a bit better. Well, that's not what I meant at all. If, you can, if you're going to suck a stick or a twig down this, Jesus, that's some air force. And that's not the case. What I was trying to explain was tiny bits of dried grass and debris, okay? I don't have any to show you, but that's what I meant. And anyway, I just want to recap. I probably didn't mention it before. This you could call the primary cleaner. Right? So there's two parts to it. There's this removable mesh, which I remember getting, this was the one that was full of debris. This stops most of the muck that you can see with your eye. So I do recall six years ago, getting my air compressor out and just hammering it, okay, both ways. And I, soaked it in a bucket of, I don't remember if it was diesel or petrol, probably diesel, until I was happy and that took a lot of work. This sucker here, well it doesn't come out. If it does, somebody tell me, but I can see here, you can't prise that out, the lip comes over the top of it, okay? Uh, and as I said, everything gets caught in here so so this is for the finer particles again if i'm wrong someone comment please so the next stage of this will be to give this a clean with a cloth i've already drained the oil out and i'm going to get a rag with a big rod maybe the pointer and just up and down in there because there's some rubbish in there as you can see on the end of that pointer Okay, well, I hope that explains it a bit better to everybody.
So there you have it. We've finished the video. You just saw a few videos and pics of me cleaning the elements of the air cleaner system. I was using kerosene this time. Uh, it's going to stay out in the sun and leave it overnight. And tomorrow I'll hit it with compressed air. I hinted to you in a couple of photos what that's all about. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, I hope that made sense to everybody. Thank you for watching. See you next time.